There are three friends. Shut the hell up your manners and bear sh One day they're in the woods and bear sh lost and your manners looks for him. Shut the hell up goes to the police station. My friend is missing, can you help me? The officer says, what's your name? Shut the hell up. What? Shut the hell up. Say that again. Shut the hell up. Son, where's your manners? That's what I've been trying to tell you. He's out in the woods looking for bear sh Gravely ill, the skipper was examined by a doctor while his wife stood by. After the examination, the physician motioned for her to meet him in the hallway. Your husband is very sick, the doctor said. Still, you can do three things to ensure his survival. First, fix him three healthy meals a day. Next, give him a stress-free environment and don't complain about anything. Finally, have an oral with him every day. The doctor left and the woman returned to her husband's room. What did the doctor say? He asked. I'm sorry, my dear, she said, but he said you're not going to make it. A man goes on vacation to Spain with his wife. In the evening, he goes to a bar, and when he returns, his wife is not in the room. He looks out into the corridor, sees the bellboy, and asks, Where's my wife? Your wife went to Don Pedro. What Don Pedro? Where does he live? What room? I'll tear his head off. The bellboy shows the man Don Pedro's room. The man sneaks into the room quietly, stands in the doorway, and sees this scene. A gorgeous, tanned, slim Don Pedro, lying on a luxurious, huge bed, and his wife, old, ugly, disheveled hair, protruding belly, sagging... And the man thinks, oh my God, how embarrassing in front of Don Pedro. There once was this really poor family. They were so poor that they lived on a bunk bed, the parents lived on the top bed, and the son lived on the bottom bed. One night, the mom and dad were having and so they used code words. For harder, they said cheese, and for faster, they said tomato. They kept screaming cheese, 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 tomato, tomato, tomato. The son then said, Mom, Dad, can you stop making sandwiches? You're getting mayo all over my bed. An octopus comes to the circus to get a job, which plays musical instruments. Played the piano, the cello, the violin and all that. The circus director asks, Can you play the bagpipes? I don't know what this bagpipe is, says the octopus, but I'm sure I can. They bring him the bagpipes. The octopus looks at the instrument in tender amazement for a long time, then raises his misty gaze to the circus director and says, Can I f first? At a gas station, there's a poster. Whoever buys a full tank of gas gets to participate in a lottery. The prize, free. Two men pull up, fill up their tank, and go to pay. They also ask if they can try their luck. The owner explains that the rules are very simple. He thinks of a number from 1 to 10. Whoever guesses it wins. The man, 7. No, I thought of the number 2. Try again another time. Two weeks later, the same situation. The man. Three. Unfortunately, I thought of five. Maybe you'll be lucky next time. The men leave the gas station, and one says, It's a suspicious kind of lottery. Maybe he's just a crook? The second one, excitedly. No way. My wife won twice last week. A sauna. Two men. One of them has a his knee. The other one is below average. Hey man, where did you get such a p Share the secret. You take a 100 gram weight and hang it on it. The next day, 200 grams and so on until it grows. After some time, the same two men in the same sauna with the same organs down to the knee. Oh man, thanks for the advice. Just at 5 kilograms something cracked there and now it doesn't stand anymore. What should I do with it now? Well, I actually use it to chase away flies, but you can also wipe your At St. Peter's Catholic Church in Toronto, they have weekly husband's marriage seminars.
At the session last week, the priest asked Giuseppe, who said he was approaching his 50th wedding anniversary, to take a few minutes and share some insight into how he had managed to stay married to the same woman all these years. Giuseppe replied to the assembled husbands, Well, uh, I've tried to treat her nicer, spend a money on her, but best of all is, I took a her to Italy for the 25th anniversary. The priest responded, Giuseppe, you are an amazing inspiration to all the husbands here. Please tell us what you are planning for your wife for your 50th anniversary. Giuseppe proudly replied, I gonna go pick her up. A man arrives at a nudist sanatorium, hands in his clothes at the reception, gets the key to his room, and walks down the corridor, surrounded by naked people. Suddenly, he sees a stunning naked woman, and he immediately gets a... The woman turns around and says, did you call me? He replies, no, no. Oh, you're new here. You don't know that we have a rule here. When a man gets an a woman, it means he's calling her. Let's go. He goes with her, has amazing and everything is great. Afterward, he goes to take a shower and occupies a free booth. He's washing himself when he farts. A big guy from another booth comes over. Did you call me? He replies, no, no. Oh, you're new here. You don't know that we have a rule here. When a man farts next to another man, it means he's calling him. Let's go. The big guy bends him over, gives it to him hard, and leaves. The man comes out of the shower, goes to the reception, and says he's leaving. He doesn't need the money for the voucher. Goodbye. They tell him, why are you leaving? You just arrived and you still have 24 days on your voucher. The man who's 59 years old says, I get an once a month, but I can fart 20 times a day, and I also cough. A few months after his parents were divorced, little Johnny passed by his mom's bedroom and saw her rubbing her body and moaning, I need a man, I need a man. Over the next couple of months, he saw her doing this several times. One day he came home from school and heard her moaning. When he peeked into her bedroom, he saw a man on top of her. Little Johnny ran into his room, took off his clothes, threw himself on his bed, started himself and moaning, Oh, I need a bike! I need a bike! A man had his right arm blown off by a grenade at a dismantling site. Not a big deal, he thought, and ordered a mechanical one from Japan. It was fitted with electronics so that it could be voice controlled. The man sat at home, delighted with his new arm. I want to pick my nose, he commanded, and the arm obeyed. I want to comb my hair, and the arm groomed his bald head. I want, I want, oh, I want to... But the arm showed no reaction. No matter how much he pleaded, the arm refused to... He went back to Japan with a complaint. The arm refuses to... They told him, Well, you're being too crude. Say something softer, like my... Returning home, he commands straight away, I want him. The arm begins the procedure gently. The man sat, enjoying himself. Ah, if only I could get a... Now. The arm swiftly grabs his head and pulls it towards his <laughs> Little Johnny is in his closet when he hears a noise. His mom comes in and starts having <laughs> with someone other than his dad. He hears a door slam and his mother say, Oh no, my husband is home. Quick, hide in the closet. The man get in the closet and little Johnny says, Dark in here, isn't it? The man is startled but then calms down. Yes, it is. Do you want to buy my baseball glove? No. I could go to my dad. Fine. How much? Two hundred dollars. Fine. This happens again later in the week. Dark in here, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Do you want to buy my baseball bat? How much? Three hundred dollars. A few days later, his dad wants to play ball with him and tells him to go get his glove and bat. I can't. I sold them to my friends. For how much? 
500 an. That is way too much. I am tacking you to church right now for a confession. They get to the church, and little Johnny gets in the booth. Dark in here, isn't it? The reverend says, don't start that You are in my closet now. One weekend, a husband is in the bathroom shaving when the local kid Bubba he hired to mow his lawn comes in to pee. The husband slyly looks over and is shocked at how immensely endowed Bubba is. He can't help himself and asks Bubba what his secret is. Well, says Bubba, every night before I climb into bed with a girl, I whack my bedpost three times. It works, and it sure impresses the girls. The husband was excited at this easy suggestion and decided to try it that very night. So before climbing into bed with his wife, he took out his whacked it three times on the bedpost. His wife, half asleep, said, Bubba, is that you? A super hot chick walks into her church and says to the priest, Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. The priest says, Tell me, dear, what's on your mind? Well, father, I am a wes and lately I discovered that I like doing it with priests. I had with the one from the church two blocks from here, the one five blocks from here, and also the one from the church nearby. The priest says, It's okay. Just pray three times a day for one week, and it will all be okay. As the girl tries to go out, the priest says, Oh, and don't forget that I will always be here for you. Three guys are walking their dogs and get to chatting while they do their business. As things wrap up, the first man says, Hey, watch this. He drops three treats on the ground, and his dog walks up, studies them, then barks, Woof! 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 See that? I'm a mathematician. I taught my dog how to count. That's nothing, says the second man. He drops a small pile of treats. His dog walks up and begins nosing and pawing around, and then steps back, having made a perfectly stacked pyramid. I'm an engineer. I taught my dog construction. Guys, that's nothing. I'm a bartender. Watch this. The third man drops two milk bones on the ground and steps back. His dog crushes both treats, snorts them, other two dogs, and then calls out of work sick the next day. There was this couple who had been married for 50 years. They were sitting at the breakfast table one morning when the old gentleman said to his wife, Just think, honey, we've been married for 50 years. Yeah, she replied. Just think, 50 years ago we were sitting here at this breakfast table together. I know, the old man said. We were probably sitting here naked as jaybirds 50 years ago. Well. Granny snickered. What do you say? Should we get naked? Whereupon the two stripped to the buff and sat down at the table. You know, honey, the little old lady breathlessly replied, my n hot for you today as they were fifty years ago. I wouldn't be surprised, replied Gramps. One's in your coffee and the other is in your oatmeal. A wife and her lover are in bed while her husband is away on a business trip. Suddenly, they hear the door being unlocked. The lover. Who's that? Who do you think? It's my husband, damn it. Who else? No one else has keys. Go hide. Where can I hide here? Just run to the kitchen and stand there. I'll say you're a statue. The lover runs and stands. The husband enters. Darling, I'm home. I'm hungry from the road. I need something to eat. He goes to the kitchen. Darling, what the hell is this? Oh, I bought a statue. I heard our neighbors have the same one, so I decided to get one for us too. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. So they have dinner, have s and the wife falls asleep. At night, the husband gets up quickly, goes to the kitchen, opens the fridge, takes out ham and cheese, makes a huge tasty sandwich, puts it in the man's mouth, standing as a statue, and says, Damn, buddy, eat. I stood at the neighbor's house for two days, 
Not a single thought of feeding me. <laughs>